Meter Wit. Do you have a message for um, people in Ethiopia? Can also be um, other countries in Africa that are um, challenged to stay home um, or work from home. Um, it can also be a message to health professionals who don't have the um, necess mm. necessary protective um, equipment. It can also be for um, countries that don't have enough um, testing kits, the, pro the proper uh, intensive care units right. or the, the right amount beds. Um, so what is your advice to all uh, these? Um... There are a couple of pieces of advice that we can give to different groups. To the healthcare workers, it is very clear. Stay strong and stay as healthy as you can. This is the reason why we studied nursing or medicine. This is really the time that we have to do the jobs that we were trained to do. We know that it often is not in ideal conditions and you have to make it as ideal as possible, but it will never be 100% safe. That is one of the risks of our job, but we have to do it. To the population, I would say, you are co-responsible in this. You determine how bad this epidemic will be. If you follow the guidelines, especially the social distancing guidelines, you make the work of the healthcare workers that now serve you a whole lot more easy. If you're not following the social distancing guidelines, then you will create a lot of chaos in the hospitals. They will be overloaded and our healthcare workers will not be able to do their jobs. To the politicians, people count on you to make sure that you provide enough funding, enough equipment, enough everything to the healthcare workers in order to allow them to do their job. You have to be honest to the public. If you choose to lie, the public will not forget it. They will not believe you. Uh, they will believe the experts. So this is the time when experts and politicians really have to work together. At, at the moment of an epidemic, there are no political parties. There are no political fights. There is only one enemy, and the enemy in this case, that's the virus.